Was there an affidavit attached to your petition defending yourself when you're sued for debt? Brought to you by Kenneth Chabert at YourLegalLegUp.com. Your advantage if you're being sued by debt collectors. Was there an affidavit attached to your petition? One trick the debt collectors like to do is attach an affidavit to the petition when they sue you. If they do, it's probably a golden opportunity for you. And if they attach an affidavit later in the process, that's also probably a golden opportunity for you. Let's take it one step at a time. First, what is an affidavit? An affidavit is sworn testimony, for one thing, in the form of a series of statements and notarized by a notary public. In every jurisdiction of which I know, the affidavit is required to have statements in it that indicate how the person that, who's testifying, that's the affiant, comes to have first-hand personal knowledge of the facts about which she is testifying. And, of course, they are required to have first-hand direct personal knowledge. They can't use somebody else's knowledge. In the case of debt collectors and their affidavits, they almost never have first-hand knowledge. And their affidavits either make this clear or else completely fail to show any basis for first-hand knowledge at all. That's because the person making the affidavit is almost always going to be some bureaucrat for the debt collector. And the affidavit is almost always going to be talking about how you owed money to the original creditor, someone else. How would an employee of the debt collector know anything about the records of the original creditor? They don't. This makes the affidavit deceptive and an unfair debt collection practice, in my opinion. And how is that, you ask? Well, the affidavit is there for two reasons. One of two reasons, maybe. In the first place, it may be to swindle the court into believing that there is genuine evidence that would support a judgment. Some courts require that before they'll give a plaintiff a default judgment. Or the affidavit may be there to swindle you into believing that the debt collector has enough evidence to win. Why would you fight then? If you believe they've got the goods on you, there isn't much reason to fight the case in court or even show up in court. Probably hundreds of thousands of these cases get filed every year. If half of them have the affidavit and half the people seeing the affidavit give up because of them, then the debt collectors may be making in the hundreds of millions of dollars based on what is really a fraud. And that is a main reason for this site being here. And it's why you should think of your options and consider adding a counterclaim for unfair debt collection practices under the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act if the debt collectors try to pull this trick on you. It isn't an accident. It's theft on a huge scale. So here's what to do. If the debt collector suing you uses an affidavit in the process, you must look at the affidavit very carefully to see if there is any indication that the person swearing it out has any actual basis for knowing what they're talking about. Are they saying they know the debt against you is valid or for a certain amount? Are they saying that anybody other than their own company kept records in the ordinary course of business? Or are they just being coy? The business records of the original creditor show if they're being coy, they are still violating the FDCPA because they're submitting an inadequate affidavit in an attempt to collect the debt. That's my opinion. What do you think? And believe me, these guys know it's inadequate. They make hundreds of millions of dollars off of them. Do you think it's an accident? And they know that the affidavit is designed to look like it's not inadequate. That makes it deceptive and in violation of the FDCPA, in my opinion. If you agree, nail them. Protect what's yours, and don't let the debt collectors rip you off. My site and materials can help. Go to yourlegalagup.com. Get my litigation manual and forms, or get the videos, and defend yourself. You'll be glad that you did. You may not consider this video or anything I say in this or any video as legal advice. I cannot give you legal advice, but as a former lawyer, I do know the legal process and debt law very well. So use what I say as a source of information and apply your own judgment to your case. To get more help on fighting debt collectors and their lawsuits, go to yourlegallegup.com. Get my litigation manual and forms. If you appreciate this video, please take a second and like it. Subscribe and friend me.
As these things will help others find my videos and begin to learn more about the debt litigation process, defend yourself from the debt collectors.